Well, here we are at this sorry machine. Uh, motor's bad on it. I've had it about a year. The warranty's up. And now i got to take it apart. I've had it, this cover off to see if I could figure out what was wrong with it. And the motor's bad. So now i got to try to take this cover off and all of this right here, the shroud, so that I can get to the motor. Okay, now I've got this shroud off. There was two bolts over here on this side, and there's another one over here, and those were the small bolts right there on the table. Um, I don't remember how many millimeters they were. I'm loosening this in case I need it off. I've got two bolts out. Here's, there's one here, right here, and another one on the other side. Um, I may take these out. These are the same kind of bolts right here. Okay, now I'm going to have to take this off here. Uh, it's got a uh, spring clip, um, C clip, sometimes they call them. So you got to have a uh, remover for the C clip. <clears throat> right here is the tool that you need. And those points fit into two small holes. Squeeze it together take out that C-clip and you got to save that. It's a very small one. You got to be careful this is plastic. Okay I loosened this here. I've got these wires. I've got these wires cut to the capacitor but actually I possibly can use the capacitor again. Um, so I've got to cut these wires here. I've got to take this ground wire loose. There's a little washer on it. I found some of the uh, bolts loose because of the vibration caused by it. I'm going to have to cut uh, some of the wire ties down here. I'll so cut the, the white and the black wires. Then I'll have to shorten up the uh, this cord right here. Okay, so I've got this loose. Okay. Now they call this the eccentric, it's really a crankshaft. Uh, some people don't know this, but um, com some bigger compressors have crankshafts on them. In this case, this one's got one. Well, these are uh, cheap compressors. Uh, I cannot find another motor, so I'm just going to put it back together. And uh, I got another idea to put another motor on it. Uh, right here is a nice shaft, and I want to so, sort of put another motor up here and then put a pulley between the two. 
So I need to put this back together. That's going to make it <laughs> pretty heavy, but it should work. Because this compressor and the motor are together and they have to go together. Uh, you could separate them, but I'm not going to. So now these wires here have to be stripped. So I'm going to have to hook up the new motor to the, these wires. Okay, I got this uh, working. I've got the wires hooked up. The, the uh, display came on over here. Now you can tell that this is running right here. Now this is a 5 8 inch shaft and I have to connect it to this shaft. I've got this pulley right here for this uh, shaft here. Okay, um, what I did was I bought this belt. I was just guessing as to how big the belt would be. Well, I'm quite a bit short and I also added a little bit to the one side I added a little bit over here on this side right here at the end so that this um, would have a, a bit bigger place so that this motor would have a bigger place um, another thing that I'm concerned about is I put this on and I had to drill this hole bigger and this has a two inch pulley right here and a three inch right here actually it's about three and a quarter and then I installed this wire with this kind of a connection on it and that's going to be um, a ground for the motor and that'll be installed right there with a bolt then I'm gonna have to um, make sure that these wires are out of the way and that they don't interfere with this belt and the pulley system so the motor still works um, I'm I also bought this. Um, I had to take a piece of sandpaper and go over this shaft right here because it had some raised metal on it. And then it has a keyway right here. And I cleaned out the keyway really good with a wire brush. And then now I got this key and I bought this pulley. Um, this is a four inch pulley. Now I'm kind of concerned because uh, this motor that was on here was direct drive for this pump. And so if I buy a 
really big pulley like this one and use it um, that means that the pump and everything will turn slower the bigger you buy this pulley the uh, slower it's going to turn so I've got to take this all apart and also I've got to drill a couple of holes I've got to drill a couple of holes so I can uh, move this um, move this motor back and forth this way so I can adjust the belt so I've got to go get another belt uh, this pulley may be too big I think I'm gonna go get a different one okay here's how you align the pulleys this one is fastened down I got to come back a little bit so I move the motor back just a little bit I moved it way too much <laughs> Make sure that it's touching here and here and then here and here. You can also move the pulley a little bit. Well, this turned out to be quite interesting. Uh, when you do archaeology, <laughs> you find old engine, old motors, and you don't know if they're any good or not. So, what we're going to do here is I'll show you. We're going to turn it on. Here's the control box. There's the start button. And you'll see what happens. This display says 109 right now. I mean, it works. I got it pretty secure. I can try to tighten the belt a little bit by putting this screwdriver on there. But I'm afraid I'm going to damage the screwdriver. <coughs> well, the belt is not warm. This pulley right here is the warmest area. This pulley over here is a little bit warm. This part here is cool. The motor, the one that works, is okay. It's a little bit warm. So, uh, yeah, it goes up, the uh, pressure goes up very slowly. Um, got it set at 150. It seems to uh, go a little bit faster after it's had a rest for a little bit. <clears throat> I put the screwdriver on and it goes, it almost stops. So it needs a little work. I believe the, this old motor is not any good. So I'm going to try to change it, put a different one on.
Uh, what I did was I took the other motor off. All right, now with this motor here, this is 110 volts. So that'll work out fine. But the one of the problems I see right away is that this has a two inch pulley on it. Um, I do have a four inch. Here's another one. This one is three inch. Now this one is four inch. So either one of these can be used. Uh, that'll slow it down a little bit, but this is 3,000 500 RPM and the other one I believe was around 1700 so it turns quite a bit faster um, and so we'll have to see how that works another thing is that I've got two wires over here right here and this has this kind of a plug right here so I'm going to have to install a plug here and I'll have to use probably some of these screws down here to attach it so minor problems um, and then what I'm going to do is I'll have to put some extensions on these wires right here that since one is uh, black and one white um, that should work okay another thing is that some of these motors like this uh, this one happens to be well it doesn't say uh, what kind of motor it is but I did try it briefly and it spun the belt right off of there because it's turning so fast yeah I can't see what the name of it is it doesn't have a name plate back here but it looks like a good motor I'm gonna use this uh, box here this is a two inch box and it's got a plug for it uh, this is old old technology slightly not too bad um, they use the uh, back of it to put the wires in so I'm gonna have to cut those things that I did here was check this motor to make sure it wasn't real hot. Well this compressor part of it is hot. I took grease and I put it up under this up under this piston which is right here but that is really hot. That's probably why the motor burned up. So I took some of this grease right here and uh, put some of that on. 